and welcome back. Well, we're going to leave the internal section of the cockpit for a while. Um, instead, I want to concentrate on the cockpit canopy. Now, we have a diagram here, but we can't really see a great deal. And I have searched the internet, and um, I actually came across this site here, uh, which is the Battle of Britain. That's the URL if you want to have a look. Now I do know there's quite a few images out there um, in relation to the cockpit canopy and there was one which I did request uh, to be able to use because it was copyright. Well yes I could have used it if I was prepared to buy it and I wasn't prepared to buy it. Um, so what I'm doing is showing you some here from the internet um, now let's have a look at this one when it comes to the canopy let's open this up a bit this is the canopy and as we can see a lot of it is actually square tubing um, so it's square tubing in this section along that section and then it's bars or round tubing in these sections here and I know that this here is um, quite a nicely shaped piece as well. Let's just go back from that one. Let's have a look at this one. Zoom in. I keep forgetting it's not 3D Max. Yes, so as we can see there's bars down there, supporting bars, strengthening bars down there. But primarily it is square tubing and um, round tubing there, sections down here. It's not all that difficult. It may look complex, but um, no, it's fairly straightforward. I'd like to uh, go through some of these instruments when it comes to the um, doing inside the cockpit is concerned. A lot of those instruments do look familiar to me. Um, I have done a bit of flying. In fact, one of my dreams has been to fly three aircraft, a Wellington bomber, a Spitfire and a Messerschmitt. There's still time yet. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to get cracked on with now. We're in our front viewport with all our geometry currently hidden. Um, we're in the shapes, splines, and we're going to start with a line. Okay, let's now, um, I know that the this is the outside of the canopy, and we want to create a bar which is inside. So I'm going to start roughly here. So left click, then press Shift to bring the line across. And again, about there. Let go of Shift, bring it up. I want it about center there. Pressing Shift again. And to about there. Let's bring it down to the bottom there. Click, close the spline, and we'll say yes. Right. Press Q for that. Right click, and let's convert it to an editable spline. Pop into line. I want to go segment because I don't need this section down here. So let's delete that. Whilst I'm here, let's just create that. Okay, let's pop up to line. And what I want to do now is go sweep. Right, so with the sweep, we've got a cylinder. Well, what we want is a bar. That doesn't look too bad. What's it on? Point 0.6. Yeah, quite happy with that actually. So let me just give it our customary steel grey and then we'll collapse this and convert it to an editable poly. Okay, let's pop up to um, our create into geometry and now we're going to select a cylinder. Just want to take out, create a little bit there, push it back. 
up to uh, select and rotate make sure snaps on yep we're gonna just turn this around 90 degrees there we go um, into our modify panel let me just look at the radius well let's give it our grey colour say OK and a little bit further yep we can bring the radius down slightly that looks about alright let's rotate it about 45 degree angle and then I want to increase the height let's have a look W for our select and move tool let's bring it down now looking at that come out a little bit let's take it across maybe bring it up a tad and reduce the height something like that let's have a look at the angle bring it a bit more that looks better and now let's bring that up touch let's pop into our perspective viewport that's P and let's have a look at this that looks quite good yep left viewport again uh, let's go Z for zoom sorry our front viewport Z for zoom let's convert that to an editable poly now let's put a mirror copy yep that's fine bring that across that looks okay there deselect let's select our spline well it's not a spline anymore but what we're going to do is go attach and this time let's attach from the list so select that select cylinder 1 press shift select cylinder 2 and we can say attach now let's pop into our left viewport press Z for zoom and we can now bring our piece of geometry over to here just there now we may need to modify it so let's bring it up to there a little bit into vertices make sure ignore back facing is switched off let's grab those vertices there and bring them down okay now we can pop up into our layers manager and unhide our fuselage now I can see there in fact this is slightly out so what we want to do is come back up to the root and let's bring that down so it fits in there into perspective view let's just have a quick look about so we can see there that it's not quite right no problem we're gonna go for our scale let's just scale this out a little bit a bit more that way and then uh, select a move tool let's pop that into there that's looking quite good there okay now that we've got that let's go left so it's L for our left viewport let's go Z for zoom just pull out a little bit now what I want to do is go shift I'm gonna make a copy just to the left of it say yes let's press shift again I'm gonna make another copy and place that over here say OK and another copy to go right next to there and say OK and now I can just come across select them all bring them up 
just trying to get them all lined up along that section there. Maybe down just a touch more. There we go. And then of course we can very quickly go into the vertices. Select those bottom vertices on all that. So ignore back facings on. Let's bring that down. There like that. Up to poly. Let's select that one. Vertices. Again, just make sure that they're all selected there. Okay, one point to uh, mention, these are the internal bars. Now what we do have on the outside is um, like L brackets that fit over the bars and um, that's how the glass is kept in position. So these bars here really are just structural. Well I can see it's that time again so I think we'll continue this in the next session. Okay? I'll catch you later.